Two years ago, the economy was reeling. I stand here tonight after we've created, with the help of many people in this room, 12 million new jobs. More jobs created in two years than any president has created in four years because of you all, because of the American people. My administration has cut the deficit by more than $1.7 trillion, the largest deficit reduction in American history. <clears throat> Under the previous administration, the American deficit went up four years in a row. Because those record deficits, no president added more to the national debt in any four years than my predecessor. <laughs> Some of my Republican friends want to take the economy hostage. I get it unless I agree to their economic plans. All of you at home should know what those plans are. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. We did what America always does at our best. We led. We united NATO. We built a global coalition. We stood against Putin's aggression. We stood with the Ukrainian people to tonight. We're once again joined by Ukrainian's ambassador to the United States. She represents not her, just her nation, but the courage of her people. Ambassador, is, our ambassador is here. United, we're in uniting our support of your country. Because we're going to stand with you as long as it takes. Here's the real State of the Union. Over the past two years under Biden, millions and millions of illegal aliens from 160 different countries have stormed across our southern border. Drug cartels are now raking in billions of dollars from smuggling poison to kill our people and to kill our children. Savage killers, rapists, and violent criminals are being released from jail to continue their crime wave. And under Biden, the murder rate has reached the highest in the history of our country. Biden and the radical Democrats have wasted trillions of dollars and caused the worst inflation in half a century. Real wages are down 21 months in a row. Gas prices have soared and are now going up much higher than even before. And the typical American family is paying $2,200 in increased energy and food costs each year. Joe Biden's weaponized Justice Department, and I'm a victim of it, is persecuting his political opponents. His administration is waging war on free speech. They're trying to indoctrinate and mutilate our children. He's leading us to the brink of World War III. And on top of all of that, He's the most corrupt president in American history, and it's not even close. But the good news is we are going to reverse every single crisis, calamity, and disaster that Joe Biden has created. I am running for president to end the destruction of our country and to complete the unfinished business of making America great again. We will make our country better than ever before, and we will always Put America first. Thank you.